Okay, we're back to walk in. Oh, I was already at the wall. I was I was right there the whole time. Spent a whole day waiting right against that wall, thinking there was a whole hallway ahead of me. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body. I'd like to see you try. No, actually, I really would. I want to fight you. This is a good time. <laughs> and again, the first time I played this, I totally thought she was actually going to kill him by accident. I, d I didn't think she had such regard, you know, for other monsters. I thought she was just like a power-hungry person, but she's actually like really kind. And I love that about her. I think she's... So, I, she might be my favorite character. No, I don't know. There's so many good characters. But I'm I'm really in love with Undyne. And the fact that she seems like this blind hero type, but she's actually a really caring person. I Whoops, that was a safe one. I, I, I got it confused with all the other sparkles in the wall. Um, but yeah, so we'll get to the Undyne fight this episode. And if this kid doesn't stop following me, I'm straight up going to kill him. Like, I'm sorry, Monster Child, but you're starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> if I was a nice person, it'd be fine. If I was a nice person, I'd be like, we're going to be friends. She said you uh, you hurt a lot of people. But, uh, yo, that's not true, right? Yo, why won't you answer me? It's because I, I don't really talk. And what's with that weird expression? It's the only expression I ever wear. Oh, man. Man, my heart's pounding right out of my chest. What would Undyne do? Uh, yo, you'd better stop right where you are, because if you want to hurt anyone else, you're you're going to have to get through me first. And... In my way. That's that's Nick's talking. That's, that's not the kid. Oh, that's scary, man. Oh, poor monster kid. Oh, fuck. Did I just kill Undyne in one hit? No, there's actually, there's got to be a proper fight with her. Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I'll take care of this. Get out of here. Yeah, um, I, I'm pretty sure that I read if you spare the monster kid, he, uh, it, it sets you back on the neutral route, like Undyne actually forgives you. Somehow, with just one hit, I'm already, already, damn it, Papyrus, Alphys, Asgore. See, you're definitely not meant to do this route, um, before the pacifism route, because, oh my god, I'm just destroying everybody. Um, and she mentioned characters that I haven't even seen yet, like, we haven't met Alphys yet, I don't know if we ever do. My body feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instant, I'll scatter into a million pieces. But deep, deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling I can't describe. A feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll... You'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters, humans, everyone. Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams. Vanquished in an instant. But I won't let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world, I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal, to defeat you. Human? N no, whatever you are. For the sake of the whole world, I, Undyne, will strike you down. Oh, that's so awesome. She's so cool. Oh my god. Yeah, she's like, straight up JRPG hero. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. The heroine appears. Undying the undying. Oh, I love this! I love it! And yeah, you totally have to already know how her battle system works. Because it is not nice to you on this mode. 
Oh, what, what did it say? Oh shit, I missed the text. I'm still doing a lot of damage because of my, uh, you know, high level. The wind is howling. But luckily it's not a grinding thing, really, because the game already knows what level you're going to be at. Because you have to fight this many battles in order to stay on the No Mercy route. Because you can't just, like... Oh, what happened? Um, you know, no battles are optional on this route. You have to fight everything. So the game already knows how many battles you fought, how much HP you have. Whoa, she does a lot of damage. Yeah, it definitely knows what level I am. Alright, we're gonna do this. This is fun as hell. I love it. I'm so glad that this is different. I was worried that all the fights would be basically the same, which would render it really sad. If everybody just, like, sit around and died in one hit, I would be, like, alarmingly sad. I- fuck- wow, whoa, alright. I'm gonna have to use the D-pad for this one, because the joystick is not cutting it for that. You cannot give up just yet. Nyx, stay determined. Why would you tell me that? Who- I mean- I guess, is it supposed to be Asgore, or what? Because Asgore certainly wouldn't tell this creature to fucking stay determined. Oh man, I have to do this again. Oh, okay, it's, it skips a few things. But man, this fight is way harder than I expected it to be. All right, this time we're gonna focus. I don't have any special moves, but I do have items to heal with. Like, uh, quite a lot of them. So, I'm not worried about that. And there's- I feel like there's not that many hard boss battles in this mode. Like, who else is there gonna be? I mean, I know that you fight Sans. I've, I've had that spoiled for me for sure. But, aside from Sans and maybe Asgore, there's nobody else strong left. So, yeah, I'm not worried. And there's Flowey, but I guess he's on my side. Or I'm on his side, I don't know. Either way, we're both assholes. I think I'm more of an asshole than Flowey, though, because at least he has motivations. I'm just killing everybody because I can. Killing everybody to see what happens. That's the kind of thing a truly evil person does, and I think that's kind of the point that the game is making. But, um... At least Flowey had, like, a reason for being evil. Well, you know, I don't know that for sure. Maybe Nyx does have a reason for being evil. Or, you know, whatever you name your character. And that's and that's the other difference too, I guess. Is it Nyx or is it Frisk? Because in in pacifism mode, it was always Frisk. The Nyx name was a misconception. That was just like what they had been called in the past and in, in you know, their not, not even not even past life, it's just like that was a different human who happened to look the same and the monsters or Flowey mistook them for for Nyx. But it was always Frisk the whole time. But here, it seems like it's actually Nyx, maybe? I don't... I don't know, man. We'll find out. Oh, I need to heal. Make it stop. <laughs> jeez. Uh, spider Donut. Oh, jeez, that is not a lot. I forgot that now that I don't have a max of 20 HP, it's gonna be different. Oh, man. Alright, this might take a few tries. Want me to do it off camera? What, what's our time at? Alright, I'll get back to where I was in the battle. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, here we go. Right about back to where we were. Um, music turned into some Toho shit while we were gone. And I am already getting my ass kicked again because of these stupid reverse arrows. I don't even know, man. I'm gonna eat this snowman. Oh wow, that healed a lot. Those reverse arrows are really fucking with me. I think, you know what it is, it's because you're supposed to be able to tell which one is which by the fact that it's um, a different color, and color is the last thing that I see, and maybe I'm just making excuses, but man is it hard because of that. Alright, whatever. I use my snowman pieces, but it's fine, I can stock up on items, I'm literally rich and apparently just steal from people now, so whatever, that's fine, healing is not gonna be a problem. I'm sure I can find some more things to eat before the final bosses. And whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, you just have to keep moving in one direction and then it gets hard when you switch. But as long as you, is it gonna end ever? You know what I noticed also? Um, 
the uh, attacks on a No Mercy run last a lot longer. Like, the enemies attack you way more relentlessly and for way longer. At least the ones who actually, you know, want to fight you and know what you are and what you're doing. Um, because on pacifism mode, the, the rounds for attacks lasted a very short amount of time. And I think it's because they were, like, going easy on you. Because they were like, shit, man. Uh, yeah, maybe we need their soul, but they're kind of a nice person and I don't want to kill them. And so they, you know, maybe even subconsciously went easy on me. And that's nice. Whoa, Butterscotch Pie maxes out your HP. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. Maybe I'll go back and uh, try this fight again, do it a little better, use less items. Even with all these items, man, I'm getting my ass kicked. Undyne is definitely the hero of this story. The other reason I wanted to go back and practice a little off-camera was so that I could um, hear the music, because I have to have it turned down pretty low while I play, or else the microphone will pick it up. My speakers aren't super close to the mic, so it's not usually much of a problem. Like, I don't have to use headphones or anything, but, um, you know, I still like to keep it down because I don't want it creating some kind of weird echo effect on the mic. I have enough audio problems as it is. Fucking... My capture card is giving me so much grief. I've been trying to record... I mean, I did record them, but Mario Maker has these weird audio glitches because of the capture card. Anyway, on a totally different subject... So even that power, it wasn't enough. <sighs> if you, if you think I'm gonna give up hope, you're wrong. Cause I've got my friends behind me. Alphys told me that she would watch me fight you. And if anything went wrong, she would evacuate everyone. By now she's called Asgore and told him to absorb the six human souls. And with that power, this world will live on. Well, I hope I get what I deserve. And by that I mean a horrible death. But, I don't know. Anyway. I think I'm gonna redo that fight. Really perfect it, and hey, where's the save point? Shit. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna redo it, and like, get really fucking good at it so I can keep my items. I have a thing about using all my items in an RPG before the ending. Gotta save all your items for the final boss. That's how we do things over here. I don't know if there's a save point over here. Can I go back in that monster kid's house and just kill him? I feel like that would be too horrible even for this. Oh wait, fuck, I saved. I forgot what I just said I was gonna do. God damn it. Alright, well, whatever. Determination. Have to stay determinationed. Well, I guess this episode is, like, almost over, but, uh... Welcome to Hotland... Alright, whatever, yeah. They didn't have room to fit the whole thing on the board. Um... Yeah, so, I don't know what Alphys is gonna do. I mean, the whole thing before was that, um... Oh, I just have a cup of water now? Alright, whatever. Maybe I can pour it on someone... Oh, it... it okay. The cup evaporated, too. I was going to say, maybe I could pour it on someone made of fire so that I could, uh, evaporate them. Because I'm just thinking of all the evil things to do. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Wow. So they're, like, nice to me, even though I'm evil. Can I just kill the boat person? I know they're the, like, construct of fast travel in this game, but still. Hey, Alphys. What's up? You gonna murder me? You did a bad job of it last time, but that's because you liked me. You wanted to be the hero and save me. Now that you know that I literally killed the person that you're in love with, um... <laughs> it's a half-empty bag of dog food. You just remembered something funny. You can tell by my face, huh? Oh, there you are. You ugly little creature. You've made quite a name for yourself. Such infamy. I'm impressed. Oh, yes. If you're looking for Alphys, she's not here. While you were busy doing your <clears throat> thing, she was running around evacuating people to safety. Now they're in a place where you'll never get to them. Deciding not to fight you. My my, she really is the only smart one, isn't she? And what about you, Metaton? Are you gonna fight me? Oh, how sassy. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? 
Well, too bad. This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Toodles. Yeah, but you're a robot. Would you even leave a corpse? It's just here to complete the look. Can't get into the true lab, that's for sure. I don't know if there's anything up here that I can take. Um, I took some noodles from the fridge. I'm definitely going to need more items. How much do the noodles heal? I should have checked. Oh, fucking, why did I do that? Damn it. Ah, hold on. Let me reset. Going around wasting all my items before I even fucking... <laughs> before I even get in a battle. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Fucking wasting all my items in battle. Wasting all my items out of battles. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Oh, I guess I guess I could just go. I don't I kept pausing it to do other stuff, so I don't actually know how long this episode is. I'm sorry if it's long. I'm sorry if it's short. I'm sorry if anything is different from your expectations. Oh, hey, Vulcan, what's up? You're dead now. Sorry. Sorry, should have warned you that I was a horrible monster. You wouldn't have had that smile on your face. Sorry. 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 Anyway. Yeah. Let's, uh, do this shit tomorrow. To Hotland! See you next time on our horrible murderous journey.